Some people have been asking me, well, how can you say negative things about libertarianism? They're on the same side as you. And I'm like, well, no, they're not. I mean, they, they, we agree on a few things, but everything else, oh, hell no. And let me preface this video by saying that, yes, this is all very United States centric. Here in the United States, people who call themselves proudly often call themselves libertarians, people that are not just conservatives who don't happen to be religious, I mean, actual libertarians libertarians, they generally only use one scale to judge everything against. They generally only use one lens to look at everything through. And that lens is liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty. Nothing else matters to libertarians. Nothing else matters. It's similar to how there are other ideologies that can only look at things through a lens of power and privilege. Now, I think liberty is a very important lens to view things through. You know, it's definitely something we should consider very important. But that shouldn't be the only lens we look at things through. You know, just like, yeah, we should be able to look at things through the lens of power and privilege. But it shouldn't be the only lens we look at things through. And so that's my main beef with libertarianism. It willfully chooses to only pay attention to the lens of liberty. You know, the principles of liberty. In fact, to most people I've ever known, every person I've ever known that's been libertarian for more than a couple years, it completely colors people's personal experiences and it eventually starts affecting their personality. It becomes the logic they use for just about any situation, every conversation. And there's often this strange admiration for 1800s language that everyone is just supposed to sit through as if it's just like regular language, right? And don't get me wrong, sure, libertarians can view other lenses if they're put on top of the libertarian lens. You know, they'll never take off the libertarian lens for any reason whatsoever. Everything has to be through this libertarian lens. Not even personal experiences. No, it's all gone. This liberty lens, that's it. Like I said, it's, it's, it's very similar to when people, all they can view things through in all their conversations, all they can do, it's, it's all about power and privilege. It's all about Marxist theory. It's all about, I mean, you've seen it, you know, and libertarianism is this way even more because they've got solid principles, you know, but if anyone else talks about grievances they're going through, especially if it's like minorities talking about grievances they go through, if a libertarian sees it, they look at it through the libertarian lens and, and generally it cancels out anything that these people say. Look, we need to consider the negative aspects to human nature. I mean, not consider acting that way, but we need to consider that those things exist. Those are part of human nature. And you know, when it comes to the government, we need to plan around the things that are negative about our human nature so those things don't cause as much harm. It's crucial to having a functional society that doesn't end up destroying itself. Libertarianism ignores those things and pretends that if the market is free enough and people have enough liberty, that those things just kind of disappear or they become something that isn't harmful anymore. Libertarianism wants everything privatized. I mean, you'll talk to people that say, well, no, no, we don't really want everything privatized, or at least not right now. But it's always in the plan. It's always the eventuality to have everything privatized. That's the plan. Libertarianism does not believe in anti-discrimination policies. It believes that anyone, anywhere, in any position should be able to discriminate against anything they want. It believes that there is no difference between someone's private life and what they do with their business, how they run their business. No worker protections, no unions, no safety standards, no regulations. You're on your own. No minimum wage. A boss can fire you for any reason they want, and you have no way of doing anything about it unless they've broken a contract. If you don't like some horrible work conditions because they're dangerous, just, just find another job that probably has just as bad of work conditions. I mean, you get to sign a document that says that they're not liable if you get hurt. But it's okay, at least you have your liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty. Maybe start your own business or something. Become an entrepreneur and get a small business loan of a million dollars. No more safety nets. No more government help with anything unless it involves dealing with 
the breakage of some sort of contract. And people should even be able to legally sign some sort of contract that makes them a slave to another person. You know, as, as long as it's a contract that you signed, it, it, it should be, uh, you should be able to do it. In a libertarian country, the fire department is private. Police are private security. The law doesn't recognize marriage of any kind, only legal contracts. Most roads are toll roads, since taxes don't pay for them. There are no public schools, so if you want your kids to be educated, you gotta dish out some cash. Who cares if some people don't get educated? At least you've got your liberty, right? Liberty, 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 liberty. Who needs cars to have seatbelts or airbags? I mean, who needs safety features? Sure, if you want them, I mean, you can pay for them. But look at all these cheap new varieties of cars that are out there now that safety features and smog prevention are no longer required. Cheapest cars on the market. Now, hey, look, a brand new $6,000 car. If a bunch of people die as a result, I mean, who cares? They should have read the label. It's not the car company's fault. It's your fault for being cheap and not reading the fine print. The freer the market, the freer the people, right? But hey, at least libertarians are truly principled. They actually are far more principled than any other political ideology I've ever heard of. They apply their principles equally across the board, no matter what situation, you know, even when they shouldn't. Their principles do not bend or adapt to new situations. They're monolithic. And yet I'm supposed to view all of this positively, as if a little bit of libertarianism wouldn't hurt here and there. And perhaps you're right if it's on the right things. Sure, I'd be fine if libertarians ended the war on drugs, ending our military occupation in you know, most of the world, you know, made huge cuts to the military, you know, fixed our messed up copyright system. Sure, I I'd be very happy about that. But at the cost of everything else I mentioned in this video? Hell no. That's not a good trade. So the only question is, what do they want to privatize next? To be fair though, I shouldn't really worry about them much. This is why I don't talk about them much, because their numbers are small. It's the Republicans we have to worry about the most. But for people to tell me, oh, oh, why, why don't you like libertarians? Well, here's a video explaining why. Thanks for watching.